Here's our chapter 7 practice test number 15. A certain type of bacteria increases continuously at a rate proportional to the number present. There are 500 bacteria at a given time and 1,000 two hours later. So how many will there be five hours from the initial time? So this part right here where it says increases continuously at a rate proportional to the number present that tells me that what the differential equation is. The differential equation, uh, we'll call that dp dt, that's going to be k times p, so we're proportional to the amount present. And as we know, that is the differential equation for exponential growth. So we can just go right to the general solution for ex exponential growth. That's a e to the kt. Now that we have that, we need to figure out our values of a, k, and t. If there are 500 present at a certain time, we'll just say that that's going to be a equals 500 when t equals 0. So we're kind of setting our time frame to 0 when there are 500 bacteria in the, I guess, petri dish here. And next, five, two hours later, we have a thousand. So we can say P2 is a thousand. And that's going to be equal to 500 E to the 2K. Now this is not that bad of a solve. We divide both sides by 500 and we get 2. We take a natural log of both sides. And then we divide by 2. So we get k is one half of the natural log of 2, 0.34657. And just a reminder for you, since we are dealing with an exponential model, the value of k is very sensitive. So try to keep as many digits as you can in your calculator. If you have a TI-84 like I do, then it's really easy to copy and paste that number to where you need it. Okay, so now we have our exponential growth model. PT equals 500 E to the KT, where K is given um, here. That's that same K. And now we want to know how many will there be five hours from that initial time. And this is just straight up calculating. So that's 500 E to the 5K. And there's not a whole lot to do here other than to chuck this in your calculator. So P5 equals 2828.427. With any of these questions that have a context here, I always think it's a good idea to write out a sentence explaining what your result mean. And this gives you an opportunity to also round your result. Five hours from the initial time, there are about 2,828 bacteria. Um, notice that I use the word about here, saying that I did round the results. Okay, so there's our exponential growth model. See you next time.